to food and health in this chapter you will learn about the importance of balanced diet the importance of keeping fit the importance of taking enough rest how diseases are caused communicable diseases and non communicable diseases how we can prevent communicable diseases health is wealth to keep ourselves healthy we must keep our surroundings clean a house must have trees around it we must drink clean water we must exercise regularly we must rest properly thus to remain healthy our body needs balanced diet regular exercise enough rest protection from diseases balanced diet it is very important that the food we eat should contain carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and water in the proper amounts it must also contain food rich in fiber a balanced diet helps us to grow well and stay healthy it has the right amounts of all nutrients carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals sources of nutrients carbohydrates give the body the energy it need wheat rice cereals pulses sweet potato and sugar are sources of carbohydrates they give us energy to work study talk shout walk run and play fats give us more energy than carbohydrates the body also uses fats to maintain its temperature and to cushion organs vegetable oil butter and ghee are rich in fat proteins are essential for growing children like you milk meat egg fish and peas are excellent sources of proteins vitamins keep our body fit improve appetite and increase the body's ability to fight diseases minerals help in the growth and development of the body fresh fruits and vegetables are good sources of vitamins and minerals roughage in certain vegetables and fruits help the body to get rid of undigested food water is also essential for life to keep yourself fit and healthy you should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day we should cook our food properly we should not wash vegetables after peeling and cutting as it washes away vitamins and minerals we should not throw away the water after cooking rice or we lose a lot of carbohydrates overcooking the food kills the vitamins in it we should store food properly to retain its nutritional value make sure you eat a good balanced and healthy food keep fit your muscles become weak and flabby if you do not use them for a long time regular exercise helps to keep the muscles in good tone it helps to keep bones strong 
Exercise also helps the lungs, heart and blood vessels to work well. During exercise, air is pumped in and out of the lungs fast. So, more carbon dioxide and water vapor are given out. The heart also beats fast during exercise and blood circulates fast too. Exercise helps the nervous system by supplying more oxygen to the brain. We must play outdoor games to keep our body fit. Posture is the position of our body when we sit, stand or move. We must walk upright. A good posture also gives graceful appearance to our body. Enough rest. When we sleep, our body cells recover from the work of the day. They also build up energy for the next period of activity. Regular hours of sleep at night increase our efficiency and strength to work. When we rest, our muscles relax. Our breathing and heart beats slow down. A good sleep gives our body rest we need. After a good sleep, we feel fresh and able to work again. Diseases When we are ill, our body and our mind are not at ease. A disease is a condition in which the body cannot function properly. Diseases can occur for many reasons. People get diabetes or arthritis when a particular part of the body does not function properly. Lack of some minerals or vitamins in the body also causes diseases. They are called deficiency diseases. Diseases are classified into two types. Non-communicable diseases and communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases do not spread from one person to another. Some non-communicable diseases are given below. Night blindness is caused by the deficiency of vitamin A. We get vitamin A from carrot, pumpkins, green vegetables, papayas, and fish liver oils. It helps the eyes to stay healthy. If a person's food contains less vitamin A, he cannot see at night. If he does not eat food containing vitamin A for a long time, he may lose sight. Beriberi is a disease caused by the deficiency of vitamin B1. We get vitamin B from unpolished rice, milk, meat, peas, cereals and green vegetables. Scurvy is a disease caused by the deficiency of vitamin C. Then the person suffers from bleeding gums and swelling of joints. Fresh fruits like oranges, lemons, green vegetables and sprouted pulses contain vitamin C. Rickets is caused by the deficiency of vitamin D. Vitamin D helps bones to grow strong. 
milk butter eggs fish and liver contain vitamin d vitamin d is also made by our skin with the help of sunlight goiter is caused by the deficiency of iodine then a gland in the neck swells to prevent goiter we must use iodized salt seafood is also rich in iodine anemia is caused by the deficiency of iron in our food iron is a part of our blood our blood is red because of iron in anemia the hemoglobin in the blood becomes less iron is present in date apples bananas guavas spinach brinjal pulses jaggery meat and liver communicable diseases communicable diseases spread from one person to another they are spread by contact of air contaminated water and food they are caused by tiny living things called microbes or microorganisms they are also called germs some disease causing germs are bacteria are very small organisms with different shapes some bacteria are rod shaped some are twisted and others eight round diseases like meningitis typhoid and cholera are caused by bacteria protozoa are single celled microorganisms some of them cause diseases like malaria and dysentery viruses are the smallest microorganism diseases like common cold influenza measles and rabies are caused by viruses now read how communicable diseases spread through direct contact many diseases like the common cold chicken pox measles ringworm whooping cough and scarlet fever spread through direct contact through clothing or other articles used by the sick person through contaminated water and food cholera typhoid jaundice dysentery and food poisoning spread through water and food the germs in the stool of a sick person may be carried by water or food directly or indirectly the flies and other insects sit on the dirt heaps and catch the germs they leave those germs on the food and in water when we eat that food or drink that water we fall ill through the air we breathe diseases like cold flu pneumonia tuberculosis mumps and measles are spread through the air the sick person must sneeze or cough keeping a kerchief in front of the nose or the mouth or he will release into air disease causing germs 
if you inhale those germs you may fall ill even objects like toys utensils and pencils may be dangerous as they may have microorganisms on them those microorganisms can cause infection through insects diseases like malaria filariasis and yellow fever are carried by mosquitoes they bite a sick person and pass on his germs to a healthy person when they bite him typhus fever is carried by lice which live on the patient plague is spread by fleas that live on rats through carriers some diseases are spread by healthy carriers of germs it means a healthy person may carry germs of typhoid cholera dysentery etc in his body such a person may not suffer from the disease however people who come in contact with the carrier are in danger of catching the disease aids is an incurable communicable disease it damages the immune system of the patient and leads to death it is spread by a viral called hiv preventing communicable diseases We know that infections spread mainly through touch, water and food, air and through insects. There are many ways to prevent communicable diseases. Sunlight and heat. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant. It kills a lot of microbes. wash bed sheets mattresses and clothes that an infected person has used expose them to the sunlight from time to time heating food till it boils or crisp frying also kills many microbes clean water and food It is important to drink clean water to prevent typhoid, jaundice and cholera. We can make water safe for drinking by boiling, filtering and chlorinating. Dirty hands and nails carry a lot of microbes. So we must wash hands frequently with soap and water especially before and after eating wash vegetables and fruits well before cooking or eating food must be covered to prevent flies sitting on it milk is heated or pasteurized to prevent harmful bacteria from growing in it Remember to make food with clean hands and serve it in clean vessels. Preventing breeding of mosquitoes and flies. Do not allow water to stand or stagnant in ditches, drainages, pots, vessels, air coolers, etc. in or around your home. or mosquitoes lay their eggs on stagnant water and breed a large number of mosquitoes water tanks must be covered spraying of kerosene or petrol also stop breeding of insects flies breed in dirt and garbage cover all dust bins Do not allow heaps of garbage to collect near your home. The municipality in your town is responsible for cleaning it up 
and handling the waste. Vaccination Vaccination is another way of protecting people or animals against certain diseases. There are vaccines for diseases like diphtheria, cholera, typhoid, tetanus, polio, measles, mumps, meningitis, and hepatitis. We must get the vaccinations against these diseases. There are natural programs to eradicate communicable diseases. Did you know? Vaccination was discovered by Edward Jenner. He observed that a person who suffered from cowpox did not get smallpox. Jenner thought that cowpox protected people against smallpox. He decided to test this idea. He took out cowpox sore on the hand of a dairy maid and injected it into a healthy boy. The boy developed cowpox and two months later, Jenner infected the boy with smallpox germs. The boy showed no sign of smallpox. In this way, the vaccination was discovered. Roundup to remain healthy, our body needs balanced food, regular exercise, enough rest and protection from diseases. It is very important that our food should contain carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals and water in the proper amounts. Regular exercise helps to keep the muscles in good tone. It helps to keep bones strong and it helps the lungs, heat and blood vessels to work well. Posture is the position of our body when we sit, stand or move. A disease is a condition in which the body cannot function properly. Diseases are classified into two types, non-communicable diseases and communicable diseases. Proper hygiene and vaccination prevent the spread of communicable diseases. 